Number 16. Verk. Although Verk is supposed to be more of a tank hero, he still dies insanely fast. He specializes in 1v1 interactions due to his increase in damage while in combat, but it's still not sufficient. His innate regeneration is non-existent and his dogging soldiers basically die in 2-3 hits. His special can act as a second pair of reinforcements with their 30 second cooldown, but most they will throw 10 spirits each, which barely increases their overall DPS. His mobility doesn't allow him to hold more than one exit efficiently, and his only good attribute is being able to take out support units. Finally, all his damage comes in the form of a physical type, which makes him useless against high armored enemies. If you want to challenge yourself, try to beat one elite level on impossible with him while only having one mage tower. I'm sure it will be fun for you. Overall, Verok is the worst hero in Vengeance and I would highly recommend not using him. Number 15. Jigu. Jigu is the tankiest hero in Vengeance and is a great boss tower. He also has a great walk of stun ability, but the 30 second cooldown just makes it unreliable. The 30 HP per second regen allows him to stay in combat for extended amount of time, while his ego ability essentially grants him a second life. On paper all this sounds awesome, but he can only stop one enemy, cannot deal any damage while in the ego, and is the slowest movement speed in the game. His special deals 260 physical damage while also slowing the enemies by 16% for 6 seconds, which is a no okay support ability, but the 55 second cooldown just makes it underwhelming. Overall, Jigu has the same traits as Verok in which both of them can deal only physical damage, but at least Jigu doesn't die in mere seconds. As a premium hero, I highly recommend not buying him as there are many better options down the line. Number 14. Tremming. Tremming is meant to be a damage hero who clears groups of enemies, but his overall DPS and small area of effect makes him fail in that regard. For some reason, all his attacks deal pure physical damage instead of explosive, which may confuse some players. His only form of true damage is the Doom Bolts that he throws on the path, but with their mere 15 second cooldown and only 56 to 104 damage, this doesn't influence his overall damage. Nitro Rush allows Tremming to increase his attack speed by 125%, but his main attack is so weak that even that doesn't save him, and it's only active around 5% of the time since it's active for 22 seconds and has 40 second cooldown. The main two reasons why he's ranked above the two previous heroes are his great mobility and special. With that said, let's see what his special is capable of. Although Tremming's special can deal up to 1800 damage, its 70 second cooldown just makes it underwhelming to be it overall. Then manages to fail in all criteria so refrain from using him. These were the tier D heroes which have no use in any regular game and I would rather not use them. Coming at number 13 we have Junpai. Junpai is a range support type hero with some fine abilities. The main defining feature about Junpai is that he can permanently silence a group of 3 to 6 enemies which is especially useful in the Anurian stages. His war banner grants allies with a decent health regen which paired with Dark Knights or Grim Cemetery can be really solid. His Tidal Wave can also briefly stun enemies which is alright in itself. His two best attributes by far are his passive which grants him 50% damage increase when below 80% HP and his special which can deal up to 480 damage over 8 seconds. Junpai tries to cover a lot of areas within the game, but his pure physical damage limits his capabilities greatly. Overall, he is a usable hero, but doesn't really shine in something particular. At number 12 we have Olok. Olok is the first magical damage hero in this list who tries to excel in dealing damage. Most of his abilities are catered towards dealing massive amounts of damage, but all of them suffer due to their long cooldowns. Although he can deal up to 300 true damage with his magma eruption ability, it's 25 second cooldown and essentially makes it have only 12 DPS. Using Kowal to deal with high armored enemies is essential since his magical damage is on the lower end. 
With that said, what makes him better than the previous heroes is his special, Seal of Isolation. It has the lowest cooldown in the game of it being 16 seconds, which makes Solo capable of almost all a bunch of enemies. This can be especially noticed within the Frozen Nightmare campaign where both Frozen Giants, Frozen Hearts and Snow Golems can be permastalled. It's definitely one of the best hero spells within the game and using it efficiently is the key to exploiting Kolok's real power. You can notice how this insane group of tanky enemies never got the chance to even make it past Troll, only because of his special. The worst thing about him is that he just dies insanely fast when unchecked and his passive is just useless in most cases. After all, he doesn't have sufficient damage to be justified for any higher spots in the guest, but can still provide you with decent value when used correctly. At number 11 we have Margosa. Margosa is an assassin type of hero who has a light and unique arsenal of abilities. She also has great mobility due to her bad transformation and insane lifesteal which makes her almost impossible to kill in a 1v1 scenario. So what makes her rank so low you might be wondering? Well, the fact that all her abilities are worthless when 9% of the time she is in her beast form, if that didn't become clear by the clip I'm showcasing. Margosa can definitely handle an army of weak enemies on her own, as well as stolen bosses that she just lacks in the AOE sector. With all that said, Margosa is just a 1v1 monster which provides next to zero support to your overall defense. Also, here's a bonus tip just to showcase a 1v1 one -one of Margosa against Auric to emphasize my point. Now let's get into the top 10 best heroes in Kingdom Rush Vengeance. Coming at number 10 we have Asra, the best free hero as well as the most fun one to use. Asra has the fastest movement speed in the game which essentially allows her to shoot 100% of the time as well as escape danger if needed. She also possesses both physical and magical type of damage due to her own Xero's ability. She can also reduce enemy's armor by 3 points with each hit which can be paired well with physical damaging towers. But what actually places her in this spot is her spider bite ability. This ability allows Astra to instantly kill an enemy which synergizes greatly with her shield ability as well as her insane mobility. Her spell can also provide good value when you manage to group a bunch of enemies since it deals 200 true damage. The only bad thing about her is that her basic attack deals next to no damage which makes her depend on towers when taking out most ways of enemies. Here is a quick showcase of her spider bite ability. And overall she is just a good and enjoyable hero which was enough for her to be ranked amongst the top 10 best heroes in this case.